Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we will make PHP login form with OTP method authentication. This is because login with OTP method, which is secure method for user authentication process. In previous tutorial, we have make user registration with email verification by using OTP method in PHP script and here we will make login form with OTP method authentication in PHP. So, this is login form. First here we have to enter register email address and click on next button. After click on next button, then it has asked for enter password. So here we have to enter password, which we have enter at the time of registration and press next button. Here it will take some time because it has sent OTP number via email at the email address. So after click on next button, then it has asked for enter OTP number. So, for this, we have go to email inbox, and here we can see login OTP email has been received, and under email, we can see one OTP number, so we have copy it. And then after, we have go to login page, and here we have enter OTP number, and click on next button. After click on next button, here we can log in into system, and we can see welcome John Smith message on web page, with logout button. So suppose, we want to log out from system, so we have simply click on logout button, then it will log out to user, and redirect to login page. So this type of PHP login form we have to build in this tutorial, with OTP authentication. Now, let's start discussing this topic. So this is our testing database, and in register user we have store register user data. And here we have make one more table, with name login data, in this table, we can see five table column like login ID, user ID, login OTP, last activity and login date time table column. When user has login into system, then login data like user OTP number, user ID, login date time data will be stored under this table. This is our working folder. In this folder, we have already make email verify.php, index.php file in previous PHP user registration tutorial. And for login tutorial, here we have at home.php file, login.php file, login verify.php file, and logout.php file. In class folder, we have store PHP mailer class. First we have open index.php file, in which we have already write PHP script for user registration, but for redirect to login page. Here we have write, Anchor tag with ref is equal to login.php file, with login anchor text, by click on this link, user will redirect to login page. Now we have go to login.php file, and here we want to make login form, so here we have write form tag with method is equal to post, and id is equal to login form. Under this form, we have create on division tag, with class is equal to form group, and id is equal to email area, 
Under this tag, we will make text box for enter email address details. So, for enter email address details, here we have write input type is equal to text, name is equal to user email, and ID is equal to user email. For display this text box validation error, here we have write span tag, with ID is equal to user email error, and class is equal to text danger. Below this, we have create one more division tag, with class is equal to form group, ID is equal to password area. Under this tag, we will make text box, for enter password details. Here we have also write, style is equal to, display property, with value none, so when page will load, then content of this tag, will not display on web page. Under this tag, we have write input type is equal to password, name is equal to user password, id is equal to user password. For display, this password field validation error, here we have write span tag, with id is equal to user password error, and class is equal to text danger. Next, we have create one more division tag, with class is equal to form group, and id is equal to otp area, under this tag, we will make text box for enter OTP number. In this tag, we have write style is equal to display property with value none. So this tag content will not display on web page when page has been load in browser. For enter OTP number, here we have write input type is equal to text. Name is equal to user OTP, and ID is equal to user OTP. For display, this OTP text box validation error, here we have write, span tag, with ID is equal to user OTP error, and class is equal to text danger. Now, we have write create one input type is equal to hidden field, with name is equal to action, id is equal to action, and value is equal to email. This hidden field value, we will use at server side for verify user data. For submit form data, here we have write input type is equal to submit, Name is equal to next, ID is equal to next, class is equal to button, button primary class, and value is equal to next. By click on this button, form data will be submitted to server, using Ajax. So friends, in this part, we have seen general introduction of video tutorial. And then after we have make login HTML login form, in next part, we will write Ajax jQuery script for send form data to PHP script, and verify email address details. If you have any query or input regarding this part, please comment your query or input in comment box. Or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also.